Here we have a hidden gem of a tutorial to show you and it's so fun. This is a rotating image code. Now, yes, it is a code, but um, if you follow our steps, then you can create something as fun as this or um, kind of just like the opportunities are endless. So to build this, we have created a code that is um, kind of telling a predetermined image what exactly to do, what size we want it, um, and then, you know, kind of the animation to have on it, like which rotation we want it, and then um, a specific image. If we were not to pick a specific image and we were, put to, we were to put this code in our advanced settings, then we would have a lot of rotating images on our page and we don't want that. So we have kind of built it into one embed box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this code and let's go ahead and build it out from scratch. All right, so I want to, I mean, you can add this to a, you know, already designed canvas or um, video canvas, pretty much anything you wanna do. Um, so let me grab an image. Okay, so um, let's just say this is my pre-designed section and now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to add an embed box and paste that provided code. So this one includes our happy little face. <laughs> so you'll start to see like, hey, it's already kind of, you know, got a little specialness for you. Um, so what we want to do is um, obviously give this one a little bit of styling. And you can see here, because we haven't kind of like set this box, you're gonna to wanna to set it so it's a square orientation. So if we do 200 and 200, um, and then over here as well, um, you can kind of see that we're in a square box, it's centered, but now we have some clipping. So because this is a predetermined code that has um, a width set, we are gonna to have to rely on the power of um, kind of our scales. So even if we were to size this one down, you'll notice that, you know, the scale isn't there. So in order to adjust this one, you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and kind of scale that down to whatever size you need. Oops. Okay, so you can kind of see it over here and um, this is kind of, you'll open it up and then this is where we're going to kind of set a lot of the settings that we want. So right now it is, um, kind of on a faster spin. Let me see if I can stop that. <laughs> there we go. It's on a faster spin. If you would like it to go even faster, then we're going to go ahead and adjust the spin to, we'll do four and see how fast that goes. So you're going to want to adjust all three of these lines. And now we're like, we're really cruising here. Um, and if you'd like it to go slower, then we're just going to go ahead and make this um, a little bit bigger. So we want it to take up 16 seconds for a full spin. And here we go. So now it should be going slower. Now to also adjust the orientation or the direction of your spin, we're gonna look at this keyframe spin and it's kind of telling it we want it to rotate a certain way. So when we're at negative 360 degrees, it's going to rotate um, counterclockwise. And now if we were to remove the negative, now we're gonna go, don't you just love how that works sometimes? It's like, make sure you do all of them. <laughs> Okay, so once you remove all of the keyframe spins, then it's going to go the other way. So um, it's kind of just dependent on which way you want to go, um, kind of the speed you want to go. Now to actually adjust our image that we have spinning, we're going to go ahead and we have a, quite a few in here. So let's see, let's go ahead and grab our favorite show it one. So I'm gonna find the image that I want and you're just gonna wanna go ahead and click this copy link tab or the copy link link, I suppose. Um, and then you can exit out of that, double click into your embed box 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here at the bottom to our image class and we're going to tell our source that we want to pull from this link. So now once we have, you know, that updated, now we have a new image and let's center it and we're, you know, repping our show it folks. So this also works if you would, um, kind of like to rotate an image or if you have created, let's say a, um, let me see if I can find one, um, right here. So if you have created these, um, text, you know, the circle text elements by yourself in Canva or in Photoshop, what you can do is you can save it as an SVG. We like to use SVG because when you're scaling up or down, it does not lose the image quality. You won't get any fuzziness. So we'll just grab this one that we have here, we'll copy the link, and then you can now paste that back into your um, image source right here. Save it and you'll have your new text. Now you're like, okay, I want the circle text, but it's going way too fast. So you can also drop that down to make a full rotation at six seconds. Oops. Six seconds and there you go. Oh, that's going even faster. We'll go 26 seconds. I forget, it goes faster when you go up. <laughs> okay, there we go. So it's going a little bit slower. Um, this also works if you like to use images. Um, there, I'm sure, are cer certain circumstances that we'd want to use this. Um, we have used this on a fun little... Um, CD cover that we've built for one of our templates and it was an absolute hit. So you can also use um, images in there and it will adapt to that height and width right here. So um, you'll probably want to make sure that that is the correct orientation that you're needing it. See, so you can see that we had a vertical image and now it's kind of smushed it into, you know, that box. So if you are going to use this, make sure, you know, you're trying to grab a square image off of it. But that is how we create our rotating images.